This is the new patented Quick Draw Brake Fluid Flush Machine, 2 tank, 10 liter capacity. The Quick Draw Brake Fluid Flush Machine is designed and engineered by Link New Tech with durable aluminum and stainless steel construction. This Quick Draw Brake Machine model comes with all 13 automatic adapters and chains that are made to fit all vehicle makes and models. It also features the complete brake bleeding octopus for simultaneous brake bleeding on all four cylinders and the ABS system. To ensure that all of the necessary safety precautions are taken, push down on the centered footlock brake. It will prevent the machine from rolling away while still allowing you to rotate it 360 degrees without tipping it over. First, before you start the service, take the cap off of the brake fluid reservoir. Take a sample and test the condition of the old brake fluid. Loosen the wing nuts to open the lid on tank 2. Pull up and it will swing open. Insert a funnel into the 2.5 inch opening and pour in the new brake fluid. Close the lid and tighten the wing nuts by hand only. Connect the shop air line to the shop air fitting on the machine's right side. Connect the vacuum nozzle to the old fluid coil hose connection. Turn the green main air valve to open position. Insert the nylon hose into the brake fluid reservoir and turn the black valve on the aluminum gun to open position. The old brake fluid will vacuum into the old fluid tank 1. Once the brake fluid is vacuumed out of the brake fluid reservoir, disconnect the old fluid coil hose and hang the old fluid coil hose back in its position on the quick draw brake fluid flush machine handlebar. Second, choose the right adapter that will fit the brake reservoir tank. One option is to use a universal adapter, or you can use an adapter that is specifically recommended for the make of the vehicle you are working on. Connect the new fluid coil hose quick connection to the automatic reservoir filler adapter. Turn the green main air valve to the open position and check for any leaks or seepage from the automatic reservoir filler adapter. Once the brake fluid reservoir is full, turn the green main air valve to the closed position. Third, you'll need to gain access to the vehicle's underside and the brake calipers at its wheels. Connect the magnetic manifold to an appropriate metal surface in the center of the vehicle using the Velcro belt. Connect the old fluid tank 1 coil hose to the quick connect on the magnetic manifold. Turn the green main air valve to the open position and the black valve on the quick connect coil hose to open. Connect the rubber brake bleeders at the end of each of the four brake bleeder coil hoses to the brake bleeder valve at each of the vehicle's wheels. Start opening the brake bleeders at the farthest point from the brake reservoir. For this vehicle, we will start by opening the brake bleeder on the right rear wheel one quarter turn, then the bleeders on the left rear right front and left front wheels each one quarter turn as well. Brake fluid will now flow simultaneously from all four brake bleeders through the brake bleeder coil hoses. The amount of brake fluid in old fluid tank 1 will increase and the level of new brake fluid in new fluid tank 2 will drop. 4. Tighten and secure the brake bleeder valve at each wheel and check for any leaks. Disconnect the rubber brake bleeders from the brake bleeder valves. Disconnect the old fluid tank 1 coil hose and hang it in its holder. Remove the magnetic manifold from underneath the vehicle. Turn the green main air valve to the closed position. Disconnect the new fluid tank 2 coil hose from the automatic reservoir filler adapter and hang it in its holder. Remove the automatic reservoir filler adapter. Take a sample and test the condition of the new brake fluid. Place the filter and the cap back on the brake fluid reservoir and ensure that it is securely tightened. Drive the vehicle to ensure that the brakes are performing properly. Five, to empty the quick draw brake fluid flush machine, 
Turn the green main air valve to open and the orange air control valve to disposal position. Place the old fluid tank one coil hose into the old fluid waste container and turn the black valve to open. When all of the old brake fluid is emptied into the waste container, hang the old fluid tank one coil hose in its holder and turn all the valves to their non-operating close position.